Okay, guys, I'm coming on here really quick this morning because I felt like I had something to share and that it could not wait. I'm so excited. I'm jumping out of my skin, y'all. And I really hope that, that this blesses you guys because I know that we need a positive word from the Lord in a time like we find ourselves in now. Guys, I'm sorry for the glare. I am not a professional at video making by any means. So, this video is not about me anyway. It's it's about the Lord. So, feel free to just not even look at the screen if, if the glare is bothering you. Um, okay, without any further ado. Guys, last night, my seven-year-old daughter woke me up out of sleep and she came into my room and she said mama I think I've had a nightmare and she was scared at first and um she had had two dreams right back to back and when I was able to explain them to her it made perfect sense and she's just innocent she had no idea what she was saying Okay, <clears throat> so, the first dream, this is not the one she thought was a nightmare, and it'll all make sense in a minute. This, this was a happy dream, and she had this dream directly before what she called the nightmare. <clears throat> so, she dreamed, I, I'm a homeschool mama, even before everything that it's been going on in the earth. We're home. We're homeschool family. Um, she dreamed that she and I and her brother were sitting in our classroom, just like we would any other day of the week doing our doing our schoolwork. And I'm not by any means, and and she's not by any means trying to say a date or a time. I think this was just a scenario the Lord gave her. Okay. So, anyway, she's sitting in her classroom with her brother and I, and all of a sudden she hears a trumpet sound. And she, it, she said it goes like this, bum, bum, and it carries like a solid note like that, like it keeps on, keeps on, keeps on carrying. She said it started out soft er it was still loud but it started out softer and got increasingly increasingly louder. Then we shot up in the sky. And she said as we were going up to the sky, she could see us flying up through the birds in the sky. Like she could see like birds even flying like we were shooting up past the birds. And she said the entire sky looked like a really bright pink sunset. That's how she, that's how she described it. Um, she saw in her dream, um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with, um, the Warrior of God channel, Brother Jim, but Brother Jim's very close in our family. He's, I've adopted him as my dad, so he's very close <laughs> in my family and my children. My children know him well. So, she saw him up in the clouds like he was preaching a sermon. Which, that's use, that's what she's used to seeing him doing with his channel. And so, that that's normal for what she would see him do. And he was telling everybody... How excited and thankful he was that the rapture had happened. And everybody was up in the clouds and they were rejoicing. And that's what she was seeing. Well, that was the end of, of that dream. Guys, she kept saying, it was 359. It was 359. And I was like, what was 359? And she was saying, when we were sitting at the table, when the horn sounded... It was 3.59. And I thought that was weird because I never have them 
still doing school at 3.59 in the afternoon. That's late. Uh, we get out by 3, just like any normal school schedule. So, I thought that was really weird. And uh, I was like, well, hold on a second. Let me, let me look it up. Guys, I looked up 3.59 in the Strong's Greek Concordance, and it means departure. Uh, yes, it means departure. Cold chills, y'all. Okay, so immediately after that dream, she had another dream which she thought was a nightmare. And I'll explain that dream after. I, I'll give you the interpretation afterwards. To a lot of you, the interpretation may be obvious as I'm saying it. <coughs> it was in the evening time. And we were all preparing to go to bed. And all of a sudden, she was aware that there was coyotes outside in the bushes and coming out of the woods. Now, as I've told many of y'all before, we live in the boondocks. So, that's not an abnormality around here. But, uh, anyway, she sees these coyotes coming out everywhere. Then somehow she could, all after that, she could see the whole earth. She could see the whole earth, and it was covered with coyotes coming up out of everywhere. And the whole earth was suddenly just, like I say, covered in coyotes. We got in our van, and my husband was in his Jeep, and... We were driving away, and the coyotes couldn't get to us. They they wanted to. They were trying to lunge at the van and at the Jeep, but no matter how hard they tried, they could not touch us. They couldn't hurt us, no matter how hard they tried. We drove for a little ways, and all the businesses and everything in the entire town was closed and it and she said that she knew that that was because the coyotes had taken over and we drove away and we were safe guys that was the lord telling her that the time of trouble is coming but that the children of the lord are safe and us driving away in those vehicles that stood for the rapture guys that was the rapture that was the Lord through my seven-year-old daughter telling me and you and all of us to fear not. The wolves cannot get you. They may be trying to bite at you right outside your door, but the Lord is not going to let them touch you. You are his. You are his purchased possession covered with his blood. That trumpet sounded at 359. And that means departure. Guys, I can't remember if I said this in the beginning of this video or not. But when she woke me up last night, I have a habit of seeing, looking what time it is on my clock. Because I get up super early in the morning because of everything that I have to do throughout any given day. And so, I'm one of these people that if I wake up in the middle of the night, I have a habit of looking at the clock. Because I want to know just exactly how much more time I have to sleep. And what time it is. When my daughter woke me up last night to tell me these dreams, guys. It was 12 a.m. It was midnight. And I noticed that it was midnight before she started telling me the dreams. Guys, I have cold chills. Jesus is coming. He's coming to get us. The wolves cannot get us. They're going to try. But they cannot. We are sealed by the blood of Jesus. And he's about to come and rescue his bride straight up out of this place. If you haven't come to Jesus, now is the day. Now is the hour. 
because our time of departure is coming fast. And if you see everything that's going on on this earth and you haven't come to Jesus, now is the time. He's real. Everything in the Bible is true. And coming true at rapid succession, all you have to do is believe, truly believe in your heart that He is God the son, and also the Son of God. That He died on that cross and shed His blood for you and rose again on the third day. Conquered hell, death, and the grave. He is the cure for your sin, past, present, and future. All you have to do is believe in him and believe in the atonement, the powerful atonement that's in the blood of Jesus Christ. And you're going home. Ask him today. Ask him. Ask him to be your savior. The Bible says if we sin just even one time, one time in our whole life is enough to condemn us for eternity. <clears throat> the Bible says that the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus. All you have to do is ask. A time of trouble is coming on us. But those of us who are in Jesus will not be here. God bless you, brothers and sisters. And I pray that this dream right here, these dreams fire you up. My little girl is only seven years old. She didn't know what to make of what the Lord told her. But he gave us that promise in Acts 2.17 that in the end times he would pour out his spirit on all flesh. And that the old men and young men and, and everybody dreaming dreams and visions, however that verse goes, it's Acts 2.17. Jesus is coming. And I'm telling you that time is running out. Don't put him on the back burner anymore. Ask him into your heart today while you still have a chance. Run to him. Because the doors of safety are about to close. If you've already asked him in your heart, Christian, if you believe in the blood of Jesus, and you believe that Jesus saved you. And you have asked him to be your savior. We are about to be out of here. We're about to be gone from this place. Don't let Satan get you down. Don't let him get you in fear. I'm guilty of the same thing. I've looked around the world and seen some of the horrible things that have been going on. And as a human, I can't help but just be like, oh my goodness. It can get overwhelming, y'all. But look up. Titus 2.13 tells us to be looking for that blessed hope. For our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. He is the only hope. Allah is not your hope. Buddha is not your hope. Hinduism is not your hope. You, New Age is not your hope. Atheism is not your hope. A new system and new times is not your hope. Your hope is in Jesus. He laid his life down freely. His life can cover your entire life. All you have to do is ask him. You're going to spend eternity somewhere. Where will it be? God bless you all. I love you. This video has been long enough. 
Until next time.